cream cheese frosting is becoming really popular. It is creamy, delicious, and relatively easy to make. Just try to avoid these simple mistakes that I made and caused my frosting to fail utterly. Cream cheese frosting is fantastic on carrot cakes and cupcakes, and the classic version requires only three ingredients. Butter, sugar, and cream cheese. I often like to add some natural food colorings to the mix, like matcha powder, to give it a bit of different taste and color. But you don't really need to add anything, as it is delicious just on its own. The first time when I made cream cheese frosting, I did ignore a few simple steps. But unfortunately, that was enough to result in my frosting failing. My first mistake was that I did not shift the powdered sugar. Not sifting the powdered sugar through a fine mesh strainer is a sure way of getting lumps and pieces in your frosting. And quite often, thorough mixing won't even get rid of them. So, always carefully sift the powdered sugar with the fine mesh strainer. And also sift the other dry ingredients that you decide to add to your frosting, like the matcha powder in my case. That would really help to avoid ending up with lumps and pieces in your frosting. The second mistake that I made was using the spreadable cream cheese instead of the full fat block one. I have always used spreadable cream cheese to make cheesecake, and I thought it would be just as good to make the frosting. But, believe me, it makes a big difference. Spreadable cream cheese contains more water, and it is not as firm as the block version. As you can see, my frosting turned out too soft and watery. I did add more sugar and kept it in the fridge, but unfortunately, it did not fix the problem. So, if your cream cheese frosting is a bit too watery like my one here, try adding a little bit of cornstarch to thicken the frosting. To get a deliciously thick and creamy frosting, always use full-fat block cream cheese and full-fat real butter in your recipe. If you liked this video, check out how to make a loaf of perfect banana bread and some common mistakes people make when making banana bread. I have left the link in the description below this video. Check it out now.